Okay, so I have uh, InDesign open here and I'm just going to quickly go over the pages window in Instagram and creating master pages. All right, so we're looking over here and we can see our pages. If you don't see your pages, all these floating windows are under a window. So we come to window pages, we can turn it off, we can turn it back on. Window pages. Now I come, I take a closer look at my document and I can see as I come to these different pages that there's eight pages in my spread here. And what I want to do is I'm going to apply a master. Now I can see that all of these have master, a master applied. Here is a master. Now, what's interesting though is that a master here is a uh, spread and that's because of how I had set the file up. What I want to do is I'm going to create a new master. So I'm going to click over here and I can say, um, actually I can come to master options for a master and I can change the name if I want to. And I can actually change this right here so it's one. I'll hit okay. Now I can see it's just one page. Great. So I'm going to come on up to the A master before I create a new master and whatever I put on my master page will apply to all of my pages. So maybe I want to put a colored background. I could grab my shape tool. I could come. I can come right into this corner. I can click. I can draw the shape that will fill this area right in here. I can add a color in I'm going to lighten this color up. I'll say OK. And there we have the color. Now, what we can see, because it is applied on the master, it goes on to all the pages. So now I'm on page 4, page 5. I can see whatever page it is that I'm on. Now, let's say that I wanted to do some other pages a different color. Well, what I can do is I can create these pages and get rid of their master. Um, so I can always right click that page and I can uh, change it around. Um, so I could write with that one if I right click or control click on the Mac and I overwrite the page items then what will happen will be I'll be able to come in here click and delete different objects if I overwrite the page options because what will happen as I come into my other page you see I can't edit it I can only edit it when I'm up in the master so let me try that one more time I'll come to page two control click I can say override master page items I can click and delete and now that I can change that around but let me show you another way I'm going to go back and keep this here that you could change things up you can create a second master so I could click I could come on down and say new master and I'm going to name this one it comes in at master B I'll say okay so here is the B master I can click let's put a different color in here so I can click I can grab this shape I can drag, I can create this shape, which is serving as a background. I can fill in this color. Okay, now what I can do next is I could come on to my next page. I'm on page two now. I could control click and I could change the master, apply master to page, and I'll click and say B master. Now, whenever I say control click, it's also right click. All right, so now this is the B master. Let me come back into here. And it should have come in, but it doesn't look like it did. Probably what I need to do first is clear that master, and then underneath it, it's right there. So I, once the, the other remnant, the other object from the A master is going to be on there. So that's what I need to do. So I can control click. I can say apply master to page. And I can come in and I can apply the B master. Um, and here we go. That time it, it did clear. So that's the idea. So you can totally have more than one master, A master, B master. And if you want to come in and not have a page attached to a master, you can do that also by clearing the master options. So there is a little bit of a quick overview of creating and working with masters with your pages. Just one more thing. If I create a new page, what I'll see is actually that one came right in uh, with the A master applied. So if I wanted to change that, I could control click, right click it and change that up. Thanks for listening.